Okay, here's a revision to a video I did a while back. This is one week's worth of food, seven days. I ate it, I've eaten this for a week, and it doesn't all just freeze dried that you have to just add two cups of boiling water. This is, does take preparation. Here's my winter cook kit for uh, camping uh, three quarts aluminum pot, and my Paterno baking pan, my little two cup bowl with lid, and my Glacier stainless steel cup. That's everything that I use for cooking in winter. Again, I'm going to be mainly cooking over the fire or my wood stove. Uh, all this food fits in this bag plus this bag. This is kind of my daily bag and this is the extra stuff, bulkier stuff. This weighs 15 pounds. Uh, I've shown the packaging just for clarity on some of this stuff. I take the packaging away. But here it is. I've broken it down just like I did before and this is the way that I view it. You need about 2,500 calories a day. This is over 20,000 calories worth of food. So this is easily seven days of food. But it can't all be empty calories, just you know, sugar. It has to have protein, carbohydrates, all that kind of stuff. I'm not a dietitian. The way I do it is I look at the packages, I figure I need 50 grams of protein, about 300 grams of carbohydrate, and I gotta watch the sodium and the MSG. Other than that, I'm good. I just have a normal diet. Again, all this can be purchased at local box stores uh, Walmart, whatever. So here we go. I've broken it, broken it down into the protein, comfort foods, fruits and vegetables, carbohydrates. That's the way I got it. It's kind of how I did it the other way in seasoning. So protein. Again, it's winter. I don't have to worry about spoilage for the first day or two. Got a couple of four ounce steaks here. After the first couple of days, I'm going to go into the packaged meats. So here we got some chicken breast, salmon, spam. Instead of bacon, I use spam. Just easier for me. Uh, it does have a good amount of sodium content and pepperoni. Uh, again, on the protein, we got sunflower seeds and peanut butter. Comfort foods. Over a week, I'm going to have a craving for chocolate, so I'll use some Charleston chews, Tootsie Rolls, something like that. Uh, hard candies, root beer barrel, Werther's, whatever. If I'm just sitting around bored and getting the munchies, the snacking, this is what I get out animal crackers. They're relatively easy to pack, and uh, those are cheap, two bucks. Again, this is all $30 worth of food. So there we go, protein and comfort foods. Fruits and vegetables. I like spinach, so I dehydrate spinach. I like mushrooms, so I dehydrate some mushrooms. Again, this is all just store-bought. Fruit roots. Tropical trail mix, five bucks, Walmart. Here's uh, two days supply, two and a half days supply and then I just replenish it there. The centerpiece of everything, what I've been doing lately, is tortillas. Sometimes I get organic tortillas from a friend that sells them, sometimes I don't. Here these are two dollars for ten six inch tortillas. I got three packages in there, that's thirty tortillas. Get good three, three and a half tortillas a day. Going back into the carbs here. Here's a whole box of angel hair spaghetti. Eight servings, two ounces each. Scalp potatoes. This is the only thing where MSG comes in. I'll have to find some that don't have MSG. A little high sodium content, but that's a good uh, six servings worth of potatoes there with the seasoning mix. Macaroni and cheese with that fake cheese stuff, which is okay. No MSG, kind of high sodium content, a box of that. Rice. What I'll do for lunch is I'll have a half a cup of dried rice. Prepare it all up. This is non-instant, so I cook it, let it steam in my pot cozy for about 20 minutes. And that gives me a cup and a half of rice, and that's uh, about 300 calories. Plus, I'll put some tortillas on there with hot sauce, a little bit of salt. For breakfast, here's seven servings of a half a cup of oatmeal with some of this uh, dried uh, fruit, and then some honey, and a little salt, and some fake butter, and maybe a peanut butter and a tortilla. That's breakfast. Seasonings. We got this spaghetti mix. We put that in with the dried tomato. Uh, which makes a tomato powder and a spaghetti mix and I can make little pizzas with my cheese, pepperoni, and tortillas. So it makes a little pizza. Coffee and tea, baked butter, or, which is not have MSG in it. Some Parmesan cheese, uh, 200 grams of honey, olive oil, Frank's Red Hot Sauce, a little sea salt. That's the whole deal. Again, I watch the sodium and I'm okay. And the only thing I'm lacking a little bit is maybe some of the vitamins and minerals. It doesn't seem to affect me, but if I can have a fresh apple or an orange, that's really uh, adds to the whole mix to make me healthy. So that's my week's worth of food. 30 bucks, 15 pounds, all fits in those two stuff sacks.